Movie time. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been on a little bit of a kick. I was in Europe and I just got this, this uh, urge to show surrogates over there with Bruce Willis. It was kind of like, oh yeah, some of these classic virtual reality things about where they have so human beings um, basically decide they to stay in the comfort of their own home and it's surrogate bodies that do everything for them. That, and so basically the whole world is populated with surrogates. No, no humans go out, everyone, humans just stay in and, and the whole world is just surrogates. Surrogates go to work for them and interact and they always can pick younger versions and more fit versions and stronger versions, you know, anyways. And, they don't have to be concerned about catching diseases or getting in fights or anything other problems. They just get their surrogate repaired. So it's a way to to escape fear, really, without letting it go, to minimize fear. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a trend. A lot of times, when technology develops, to try to use technology magically to minimize um, fear, but not let it go which is what all defense mechanisms do. So that's what makes it such a seductive trick, because minimizing fear seems like a good deal. <laughs> the ego doesn't mind that you think it's a good deal, because as long as you don't let it go, then the ego's okay with minimizing it. So, so anyway, I thought of this movie recently, and this one, the hero of the dream, um, he's... He's in this game, and and he he has a faint memory of of a life outside the game, which triggers back to this memory of his wife, and I think it's his daughter, maybe his wife and his child, and so there's a memory of love that that kind of keeps him going because it's very very difficult for him in this game. He's like a great warrior, so people watch the game, uh, the game of the world, because they like to see him in combat and how he keeps going and he's determined. But it's really his determination to get back to the love that keeps him going, because he gets very exhausted in the game, which has a lot of parallels with this world, where if you get all caught up in the game and you forget that it's a game, then it just gets exhausting, it gets repetitive, it gets heavy, it just feels like you, you know that it's not reality, but, but there's no contact, there's no direct contact with reality, so the frustration is there, the guilt. But, it, but there's a tension with, with forgetting it's a, it's a game and, and trying to play out the game, because then you try to play out the game and play a perfect game or be a good uh, game player or a good participant. There was a line, I, I remember watching um, Surrogates there, there was a line where I just froze the movie when I was over in Amsterdam, because it was like when, when there's a, a fear of, um, of looking within, then you try to escape the fear through the puppet. And that's really how the game seemed to start, was the attempt to escape from fear. And underneath that escape from fear is this huge fear of love, of divine love, which is way out of awareness. The humans are not aware of it, none of the religions are aware of it, it's just an enormous fear of love. And then it's like trying to use the puppet to escape from the fear. That's what surrogates was really all about. And, and in this sense, it's the same with this movie, he's trying to use the puppet to escape from fear, but the memory of, of home kind of keeps calling him. and. He just has a strong, strong determination to actually somehow escape the game. But, but he, he just doesn't know how, and of course he's going to need collaboration and mighty companions to do it. So that really relates to all of 
our methods of joining and collaboration. Because that's the only way he's got a chance of getting out of this this game. So he's he's at some point he's gonna to start to be open to the science. Also, this is this is a very, very, very graphic movie. And it's good sometimes after you've watched some meditation movies like the one we watched the other night. It's good to have some really heavy duty graphic mind watches. You know, just take Matrix and knock it up about five levels from the, from the Matrix, and then you get a, a mind watcher of, of a good caliber. So that's what I, I particularly like about this one. It's a great mind watcher. So, okay. He's, li he's literally being played. Literally being played. Like, yeah, almost like that, that kind of a like, like feeling of, come on not being able to escape, he's being played and he knows it. Like he can't even make his moves. And yet and yet it's still possible. And it's like I was saying like to David earlier, it's like focus that so we talked about focus, but this is even going beyond the focus to like straight to the, to the desire. To that like in the end that's what's gonna speed it up. And the the desire. It's like that's all yeah, he's got a big heart. Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah, it's intense, but it's like, there's something that keeps, it's like, he, even when he's, play, like, he's, uh, he's in the game, and he's being played, there's something even stronger than that. It's like, much, much stronger. And it's a violent game, yeah, it's a game like, of, like, Hardcore violence. So yeah. But he's rugged. He's very rugged. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll. Go for it, and then maybe we'll have a nice yeah. discussion afterwards. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, if we feel to pause, then... Yeah, if there's any points, if anybody feels to... Like, whoa! <laughs> then, yeah, we can always pause it. <laughs> it's yeah. a trip. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a little bit like a born, the born identity or bo born ultimatum. And so he's going for it, like, really, really, really... And yet there's still like a program running, but yet there's something even deeper. Yeah, mm. it's good yeah. about that. Like he's being played, so there's there's that's symbolic of like a subconscious mind. Mm. That no matter how determined you are as a human per human being, as long as you have subconscious programming mm. running underneath, you know you're not going to really be free. You're not going to have a free mind until mm. until that comes up. So this is all just backdrop for his really subconscious mind coming up. Mm -hmm. Just that's the journey through the darkness to the light. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds good. Yeah. That it all sets up those final, the final scene for the desire part, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The truth will be returned to your awareness by your the desire. desire. Yeah. As it was lost by yeah. your desire for something else. Yeah. Well, it's like everywhere I look, it's just like, it's, it's you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just everywhere, like, we just talked the other day, it's just everywhere it's coming that it's like kind of, I was saying that for a while there was this, um, I think there was a, a bit of letting go of kind of like, gotta go fast, or like, I think it was, there's like an egoic of gotta get there, right, and then there's almost like, it's like actually it's backwards, so it's like even the idea of like gotta go forward, it's like forward where, it's like it's almost like backwards, or stop, 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 and stop, like completely stop it's like there's nowhere to go right and uh 
And so even like the thought of speeding something up, it's like who wants to speed anything up? Like who, what? Like it just has to like almost like there was this space of non-compromise with that. And whatever <coughs> it is, whatever is given, it's like slow, slow for who? Like slow. What is fast then? And compared then uh, yeah, compared to what? Since when do you, like slow? Like since when do you know anything? It's like it's all linear. It's just like. It's, it's such a like it was such a deep wash of linear and so it felt like it was almost like it felt like that idea of fast or getting there it just like was just gone and there's just a natural settling it was just gone like even in my mind it was like I forgot about all about it and all of a sudden <coughs> I keep kind of like everywhere like in my mind like, like everywhere what's being reflected it's like now now that that's gone now, the real way to speed it up is getting in touch with the desire, mm -hmm. like beyond it all, like even like beyond the steps, beyond um, beyond everything, it's just, it, even beyond the focus, it's getting in touch with the desire, it's just like that's what's truly is going to speed it up, and then otherwise it's like, yeah, like I was just saying, this, like spirit is artistic, I'm every day, I just see this artful show the way the guidance the way it's led it's just like you can't comprehend it it's just like that ego has no chance and it's like if, like if there's just willingness to follow the guidance spirit knows how the way to do it and even like things that i need to play out like i was saying it's so generous it's like have it all be to, but it's all for forgiveness to for, for the mind to learn something and so, well, still, like, that's why there's one, sometimes there's a process still happening and things, like, are still seemingly playing out. That's okay, and Spirit's got it. And yet, if there's, like, if, like, in terms of speed up, it's like, it's the, de it comes down to that desire beyond it all. That's the only way, like, to really, almost like to put an end to it, in a way, so... Yeah, even in this one, it's like, yeah, the desire. Yeah, it, it's the desire. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. There, are, there are those that teach, you know, you have to, you have to maximize what you still desire in the world. Mm -hmm. But it just, like, flips it, you know, does the big flip of it. Because it's not really that. I, you know, can't can't be that you maximize anything desiring of the world because that's it's still like a mastery through through fear mm. trying to do that but, but it's only mastery through love that works so it's yeah it reminds me of the course workbook which you know my mind holds only what I think with God or the truth is true only the truth is true all those lessons I am as God created me, you know, it's the it's a real focus in the course with those lessons. And it's like it gives you all these undo, 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 and then it says, now rivet in what you want. Yeah. And really rivet in that. That's where those lessons are there. And, you know, that's really what's, what's given over to really go for it. The focus part is more like just watching your mind and attentiveness, mm -hmm. but this is more of a just mm -hmm. turning your full desire to what it is that you truly want. The name of God is my inheritance. Mm -hmm. And those, those lessons too where we, you can safely use the name of God to replace all the, the nameless names mm -hmm. you know, that were made to take the place. That's the same kind of thing is just turn it all, turn it to that yeah so then it becomes more a path of devotion do only that you know or be only that is even better and do only that be only that so it was good with this movie you know because he he just kept going <laughs> going and going and going and going but you know, then that scene where he, the character is singing, I've got you under my skin, you know, it's like, always gets back to the chamber of the one that seems to be pulling the strings. 
Mm. You have to go beyond that, too, and say, do I want that? Do I want... Yeah, and, and it feels like, yeah, and it's almost like, it feels like, I, I must say, like, like these days, it feels like the one that's singing that song, I've got you under my skin, it actually feels like, like, he's, like, it's powerful, whatever that is, mm -hmm. and it's like, it's powerful, it's almost like, I've been, like, just really feeling that, almost like, yeah, it's like something takes over and it's like, it's it's dark and it just will like, kind of like, will do what it wants. It's almost like there's a bit of awareness still, like, oh my God, like, hang in there. But then yeah. it's kind of like, oh shit, I don't even know what, what, like, what it's going to do. And then that's where it was like, it, it came, started to come in. It's like the desire. It's like, in my dreams, I started to hear, like, I would get, like, you know, at night I would get like a text message from you, like, like I love you, and I'm like I take it as hang in there, yeah, yeah. like I'm, I'm like you'll say something, I love you, I'm there with you, like I'm even I'm like there, like I'm there, even there, uh, like in that place of like almost like no control and under something else's mm -hmm. control, I'm still there with you, and so it's like almost like but like how do you activate? It's like the desire you have to like desire that more than that and it just almost like it was almost a bit almost like a bit disheartening and shameful it's almost like what is this weird thing like control power mm -hmm. like darkness and and it's just started coming in like it's actually invited and well it's actually desired mm -hmm. it's actually desired and, and then the way out it's like you have to desire that something more than that and it's just like more than that like it's like something's like it's got to be true and yeah. so it's yeah like there is almost like i don't know almost like there's a war happening in in a way and i'm like i don't know which one is winning half the time <laughs> It's like, by, because it's like, even like, you know, letting go of the game, and then, yeah, how do you feel? It's like, it reminds me of, like, that Inception, last, like, last scene, not one of the last scenes, it's like, oh, this and that, and he's talking to Mo, but how do you feel? Like, you're saying, like, I'm not real, this is not real, like, almost like, darkness is not real, but how do you feel? It's like, I feel guilt, I feel, like, and he's like, I feel guilt, and that's what it feels like, I feel guilt of darkness what's the like the dominant experience not not always the light it's like 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 in honesty not no like not it like not the light that's where it's like how much do i really know of this like we're talking about extending the message and it's through you know it's it's through the heart it's not has anything to do with the world it's like but what what is being extended truly how much of it is the true experience like all like will believe it will be it will be believed all or not at all so it's kind of like comes down to that and it's like almost like how much of it is like almost like makes you not question but like look at it how like how do you feel how much of it is truly believed or desired and and even like you know like even if it's disheartening to be able to look at that it's like what's then it, you can tell by how you feel it's like and it's like well yeah not not all that great and there's nothing in the form that even reflects that it's like what's yeah like almost like what's that like we we use projects, but projects are still with the tweaking of the focus. And so, what would be the end of all projects? But I have no need for this at all. Mm -hmm. And this would have to be an all inclusive, all the images of the world. That would have to be the only end of the project. The projects are just tweaking towards the focus to keep you on the track, you know, to keep you in the groove so you're not really spinning out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you know, like in uh, in that movie um, with Sandra Bullock, Gravity, mm -hmm. George Clooney, when, she's, when she just spins, 
she goes up and from her space and, and she's just spinning. That's what the projects are to keep you from just going out and spinning into into lost and and unawareness of dreaming. Just spinning in the game. Like Sandra Bullock just spinning upside down, just off into space. Mm-hmm. It's good that people watch that movie because people told me that brings up fear when they when she just goes spinning off mm. into space. You know, it seems like that's it's a, it's a lone feeling and everything. But the, but the the projects are just the little tweaks to focus to keep the keep from spinning. But then, but there has to be an end to the projects. There has to be an end, mm. and that has to be. I have no need for this at all, which would be the end of the projects, you know, and the end of the world. Mm. Because only by valuing something of the world is what keeps it in in place. It keeps your mind in chains, but that sense of valuing. Placing value where there is no value, that's, that's what keeps the mind Yeah, intense. and it's crazy because it's been show, you know, showing up in a way. Like, for a moment, you think this is the value, actual value. It's like a spin. Mm-hmm. Anything has actual value, like actual value. And I was like, I'm like tricky because it's like, it's so... It was like, I was just kind of like, I was in this place, like the other day, I'm like, oh, this is like ultimate bedazzled, like you can't possibly like, like, even a little bit anything of the world, like even like for a moment, you think this is nice, this is great, it's like, you think you like community, it comes with responsibility, you think you want to be a teacher, like actual teacher, dependency, you know, you think you want like, like a relaxing experience, like some kind of pleasure, pain right away just like comes in like all these like good things like all good things and then next thing you know it's kind of like it's like right away it just comes like right away all these like yeah and it's crazy it's like for a moment it's like it's and it's I feel it feels like again it's shown quickly without there's no time in between so it's kind of like pain comes in right away pressure right away and it's kind of like whoa whoa what's going on you don't even know and it's like but there's some kind of desire for something like mm-hmm. that is seemingly the opposite of it, mm-hmm. and so it's so subtle, and it's constantly like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's like, like a lot of it. Like yeah, like just shows up a lot, like in the very, in the way that it, like it just in the almost like. You know, like I, I said the other day, like almost like a little, like it could always, you, it it could even seem a little cruel, like like spirit, how, how can you like let me, how can you let me ask for this then? But it's like, it's like spirit is like, I'm not going to protect you from your desires, like from the power of your mind, like not like so not the job, like mm-hmm. so not the job. I will join with you for you to see what is it that you're desiring to protect you like not the job and again it's just like comes down to like what are you desiring and it's like almost like spirit's not joking anymore almost like some kind of like baby gloves have been taken away or something mm-hmm. and now it's like this is it like it's like as it is like learning almost like almost like the hard way of something I don't know but just mm-hmm. this way like yeah. fast that's why it's just like I'm like Sometimes, I'll, I don't know, it, there's this feeling like, oh, it's a minefield out there. But it's like out there, like in the mind, like what, when these areas get exposed, it's like minefield, you know, like not, not like not a feel good experience necessarily. But then, yeah, but something clicks somehow always. There's some kind of home run with it. And so kind of like trusting that too. Yeah. So, yeah. We go out for the fireworks last night, but then we got the movie and our own yeah. fireworks right in here instead of the rains, the clouds came and 
So, no, not that. Yeah, yeah. Not, no, you're not going out, out for 4th of July fireworks. Right, 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 right. <laughs> It's not the celebration. Someone, someone wrote me a letter, like an email about uh, the quantum forgiveness weekend, like something about it. And I'm like, wait. I'm like, what is, what is he even saying? I couldn't even understand. And then I kept hearing like, celebration. Celebration is like the key word. I'm like, oh my god. So I wrote the email back. I'm like, you're probably. The word celebration is confusing. It's like it's not that kind of celebration. It's a celebration of devotion and stillness and like dedicate dedication, like life, like to to God. It's it's like a, like it's that kind of celebration. So, and they're like, oh, thank you for clarifying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that's it. Yeah. That was the key. Yeah. He was like, yeah, <laughs> this is like celebration. What are we celebrating? <laughs> Well, nothing of this world, <laughs> and even like probably celebration in itself doesn't look like probably may look different. <laughs> Whatever that may yeah. be. Yeah. Yeah. Very powerful. Well, like everything you just said was this weekend for me, like. Yeah, like, I don't, I feel like fear's been playing me. I've been allowing fear to play me for a while. And, um, yeah, I said last night, the group, like, I just can't do that now. I don't know. Like, it's, it's death or, <laughs> it's life or death now. I don't know. It's, it's weird to even say that, but, you know, like, what is the point in being afraid of anything because I want the peace of God? Like, that's the only goal. How can how can anything? How can I let anything hold me back from that from that experience? Like, what can I really be afraid of? I don't know. It's just like I love that you are talking about desire because I feel like that's what this weekend was about up there with the little group of us and. Like, the doubt thoughts kind of just disappear when I get really clear with what I want. Like, I can, I can feel like there's fear still, like, with, even with that seeming decision, like, mm -hmm. yeah, this is now the thing. Like, I am going for the peace of God, and I am afraid because I feel things are going to be exposed. Mm -hmm. And, well, I can't let that stop me, so... Like, what's better, like, staying hidden or feeling alive? Like, I don't, it's not even a choice now. Mm. It's like, the choice has gone. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no choice there. Yeah, the choice is that. Look, I don't know what this is, like, I'm expressing a little bit before the movie, but last these few days, or, yeah, the last few days, just feeling this, kind of, deep fear and disorientation. <laughs> just, I'm not sure I know what to say about it, just like, like I can hear my mind sometimes. <laughs> Is there a funny question, but like, <laughs> am I going to make it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's a sense of... Like panic that comes up sometimes when it's like deep. I don't, I don't even know what it is. The only word I can put to it is fear. Like it seems to build up right here. And uh, I feel like I'm just like watching my mind. Like, what is this about? Is this a specific? Is it, you know, all that typically comes to my mind is it feels kind of abstract. But then I'm like, is that true? <laughs> I feel like, oh, I don't want to feel this. <laughs> I feel like I'm 
feel like what I'm feeling, is, I'm feeling this, it's like, uh, it really is, it really tests my trust and like, vigilance to keep stepping forward. In a sense, it almost feels like whiplash. Like when this stuff comes up, like everything is telling me to just like die or stop. Uh, reminds me of actually being in basketball. Just, I right, just keep stepping forward. I'd say in my mind, don't stop. Yeah, just it comes up periodically. I'm never sure really what to do with it. Practice because it, it does get to go that way. Just the fears are more and more non-specific, and that's actually a good sign that the ego always tried to make them about something, some form or some memory. And it's not really. It's more of a sense that you're not giving in to the to the desire to project, mm. which is a good thing. You can't project the error and accept the correction. So, in different people, it comes in different ways. One friend, you know, I went through this one whole day, just this periodically, just felt like a death wish. Just, just she felt like she was just dying and dying, but nothing specific. Just this feeling. But yeah, you know, that's just. It has to go that way. It, has to go to seem more abstract. It's part of facing it and allowing it. It's part of the releasing of it. I've never seen the gravity. I've always kind of like felt like I wanted to see where it go. Mm -hmm. But like I can feel like I, I can feel what the movie is. The only memory that really pops up when this starts happening is uh, when I was at college and then I emailed you. Mm -hmm. Just because that's what was happening to me, like just very intense, like I didn't even know what it was about, but just straight terror and deep fear and feeling completely alone. Yeah, it's like whatever lesson of that day I just had to like, it was almost like a I don't know, I had to really watch my mind, I almost used it as much for a certain period of time, then like there'd be a release, and then we'd come back, and it was like, it was just so intense, I thought I'd like, never step out of it. And it brings up this fear of just straight panicking. why you've come here, though, to allow it fully, to not have messages of trying to diagnose it, or fix it, or 
give advice to it or whatever, but mm -hmm. yeah, he's just giving himself full, full allowance and permission to let it up. Get a sense of safety. Some really good songs. There's a Sarah McLachlan song I haven't heard it for the longest time, but it's she just repeats it over and over this line where she sings it with all her heart. But it's just a very intense song. I won't fear love. <laughs> but it's just imagine her singing it with all her passion and intensity. It's just a you know you can just feel that the mind is just shaking. And she's just you know, you know giving everything to face it. Try to strike that one down for the group. <laughs> My mind, like, how do you, you allow? I can almost hear the answer at the same time. But how do you allow the mind to accept the abstract and that fear, when it builds up, feels like it's almost unbearable? <laughs> I think it's when you're not projecting it after nine seconds, you start to see, like, why there's that, such a temptation to project. It's mm -hmm. unbearable. <laughs> Yeah, the question that you and the right is how do you allow, but the how is the Holy Spirit, so, mm -hmm. and that's the Holy Spirit's function, is, is that, that's why the Holy Spirit is the memory of that love that's been kept, it's been saved and kept, mm -hmm. but it's, that means, it's like a letting go of all hows in terms of time, which is really a, defense against the abstraction. So there's no person that does the, the how, and there's no doing, and there's no formula to it, and that's all part of the, the defense. So it's like that surrendering, yielding to the Holy Spirit, just, or just saying help, you know, 